hi thanks for watching my video um, just to get to the three questions that we have today uh, the first one was what was the impact of Christianity in the American founding uh, and the impact was and still is uh, unmeasurable um, you know regardless if we're talking about Roman Catholicism uh, Baptist baptism uh, Methodist um, Quakers and so forth I mean all of the, all of this goes back to the, the worship of Jesus Christ um, and I like the the story from one of our videos in uh, this week's lectures uh, that was told about John Wesley who came over to Georgia with uh, James Oglethorpe. I guess I really like this story because I, I'm, I'm from Georgia. This video is being made in Georgia. Um, anyway, John Wesley was on uh, the, the, the ship or the boat with James Oglethorpe, and of course they ran into some some storms there on the water, and there were some other um, Europeans that were on the on the ship as well. And he noticed that they just seemed really calm, and that they didn't seem to be bothered by the storm. They were they were they were not really afraid of death, in other words. Um, and they were the, the uh, Moravians that he he was noticing, and um, that stuck with him. And I just think that, that I, for me, that shows just how how big of an impact or how much of an influence um, someone's religion can have on them. Then it goes on to influence others. Um, now we know John Wesley went on to form um, uh, what is known as the Methodists, um, but I just like that early story of him witnessing uh, people that were not afraid of death due to due to their strong faith um, now going back to the worship of Jesus Christ I mean all of this leads to uh, religious tolerity not tolerity religious tolerance and liberty um, we see this in the um, the early Christian leaders and settlers that came here uh, who wanted to convert uh, the Native Americans or sometimes referred to as Indians. Uh, I, I refer to them as Native Americans. Um, they were spreading their teachings and the word of uh, the teachings and words of Jesus Christ. Now, like I mentioned earlier, they, they were initially basically on missionary trips trying to convert Indians but that that influence eventually spread to the early settlers uh, the colonists and um, it just kind of branched out from there uh, just to, to put it simply it branched out um, I can't really imagine an America that did not start with these early uh, Christian um, with this early Christian foundation uh, moving on to the second question, what was the importance of Puritanism in the American founding? And I think uh, the, pur the importance of Puritanism in America's founding is what uh, religion is not. And uh, to me, from what I can gather, Puritanism really did not... Um, allow much religious liberty. I mean, take take Anne Hutchins and her story, for example, um, how she practiced religion outside of, you know, the, the chosen few or those that governed um, the religious teachings um, of those in their community. And she kind of rebelled against that and practiced her religious liberty. So to me, um, Puritanism was important because it showed what religion did not have to be and what it what it was not um, now the third question what was the importance of religion in early America as a cohesive bond and uh, to put it simply it worked 
Uh, it, it got people together. Uh, it created a strong bond there that um, led to a strong nation that's still strong. And uh, yeah, a lot of that is because of um, the cohesiveness uh, that people were able to form due to their religious beliefs. Um, those religious beliefs being founded or having the foundation of um, belief and worship in Jesus Christ. Um, so that's, that's all I have for today.